Hey Scorpio, it's Lulu I Love with House of Oshun, and today I'm going to do your August spiritual conversation. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Scorpio. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. I got herbs on my chest. Now then, what information do you have, Scorpio? Okay. Make sure you have the Scorpio. Let's see what y'all got up in here. Okay. I got makeup on my shirt. Move forward. Now, um, I feel as though when you you are going into August with um, clarity on you are destiny driven, more so than usual, apparently. You're coming out of a situation, you may be coming out of a situation that was very daunting, a, a situation that you had to go in the cellar and fiddle some things out, baby. You did the faux knocks and you came up out the cellar. And it feels as though, you know, whatever it is that you have learned, you know that you have to take your time to really release yourself of whatever this is that you have gone through. There's a lot of hurt and there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. But you need to see this healing taking place, not just doing it. Um, there may be someone that is guiding you or helping you throughout this month. It may be someone with strong masculine energy, but a warmth, uh, warm masculine energy here. You got to take your time. You're very wise. You've come out much wiser. Look how he's coming up at the cellar. From this day forward, this is coming at the cellar. So that's what it looks like when people come up at the cellar at the house. I lock you in there for a while because you need to see that. You faced your shadow side. You faced some shadow elements of yourself. Yeah, somebody probably told you, yeah, now you feel free. You're free from what it is that was holding you back in the past. You figured it out. It took you, took you some time, probably three, four years, for you to really acknowledge that was what was going on. That's what that was. You climb your ass up out that shit. Now it's a new beginning here. You're taking what you've learned, and you're ready for this newness. You're ready to take this risk. You're ready to take action. You've done the work. Now you have to make a head over heart decision. What do I do? How do I move forward? Because I gave so much to this person. I tried this, I tried that. How do I move forward? I still need answers, Lulu. No, you don't. Take your time. For every sword that is in your back, every sword that you have laid down the line, laid down on the line to try and make something right, make things right in your life, you need to go back and recount the steps. Why it didn't work the first time? How you get that knife in your neck? Then the second time. Then the third, fourth, fifth, how did it get to 10? But a cycle has completed here, and it's time for you to let go and stop lying to yourself that it's not over. Possibly with an Aquarius. I don't know. They're just real strong. Gemini as well. You're hoping, wishing, and praying that they get their shit together. You're hoping, wishing, and praying that somebody in your life get their stuff together and release themselves of their old ways. You're hoping, wishing, praying. You got to surrender the need to control people, Scorpio. This is a new beginning. This is a new way of looking at life, a new approach to life. This is offers coming in. This is insight coming in. Overall, this is a new um, way of looking at your spirituality and what it is that you are moving toward. It may be scary to you, but you're going to be all right. Maybe some worry there about, you know, how do I leave behind? I'm holding on to this person. How do I leave behind? How do I take control of this, that, and the other? But I need this person. You don't need shit. You do need to shit. That's important. Because if it don't come out that way, it come out your mouth. But I'm just saying here that this is very important. It's an important time for you to gather yourself. Get it together, Scorpio. Button it up. Okay? This energy, I'm going to go through all these cards one by one. This energy in August ain't going to serve you no good. Worry. Anxiety. Depression. Now, I can't say that they don't... Everything has, we need, we need certain things, polarities. But for some reason, I feel like this is not warranted. You're doing this shit because you just want to overthink shit. You want to get to the truth of things so much that you are being stagnant, complacent, and just sitting there. And at the end of the day, you sitting up here worrying about, oh, I should have did this, oh, shit, I should have did that. Choice. This offer that is coming in is something that you manifested into your life. It's on you if you want to move forward. Epiphany, Tiffany. You finally realize that what used to serve you no longer serves you. And now there's wish fulfillment coming in, but then here you go, deceiving yourself. Feeling as though there may be others that are out to get you as well. You're trying to keep a number of things to yourself, but you got questions that need answers. Might have been left at a stalemate somewhere. So you feel powerless, attacked, victimized. Here. You want to leave it somewhere. 
there's a decision that needs to make. It's a head over heart decision, possibly between two people or two situations, or even just making a decision to really go along with the surgery that you had, or you were gonna do. Some of y'all going male to female, female to male. I don't know your life, that's what I heard. They say you're gonna feel free with whatever decision you are making here. It's on you, it's your life, baby. Can't nobody, uh, uh, it's your life. It's time for you to take charge, take control, hold yourself together, hold your finances, have some, some constraint when it comes to spending as well. But I also feel as though you are very grounded and stable in what it is that you are doing and how you will be moving forward. But always ask for a second opinion. Take others' advice, others' opinions, others' ideas, put them together, and you have to make a decision based on what it is that you are trying to accomplish, what you are working towards, how you want to move forward in your life. Watch this. What is Aquarius? Oh, this is not Aquarius. I'm thinking y'all dealing with one. Maybe it's in your chart. Scorpio. Beautiful. So somebody might be getting pregnant. But overall, I feel like there's a lot to celebrate coming up very soon. You put in a lot of work, and you're looking back over the work that you put in, and you're very proud of yourself. I feel like you will feel accomplished in the month of August. You will be in a space of feeling like you have done what it is that you need to, and things are beginning to pay off. I feel as though, you know, you may be dealing with another water sign, and this is just you taking on this energy. could be a Libra. could be a Taurus. It could be an Earth sign. But there may be an emotional offer that is being um, extended to you. Um, this could easily be something that just makes you very happy. Something being extended to you that makes you very happy. Something that you've been working on, working towards. You've been redoing and revising your resume and are putting in a bid for certain things here. And somebody finally made a decision to go move forward with you here. Um, this is a lot of self-love energy here. Some of you may even um, have been working to get pregnant and you finally get pregnant and boom, there it is. Thank you. Take your time. Okay, baby. Now then... Hmm. There's a joyous celebration coming up very soon for you. It's deserving. You deserve it. Someone may even just be celebrating that they even know you. That's beautiful. But overall, I feel as though someone from your past that has been working on themselves may be coming back, and it could be any of um, them signs of seed. You have the Scorpio. Yeah, someone's waiting for you. They're open to discussing things with you in the month of August. Someone who um, is really, um, they smell good. Whoever it is, they smell good. Okay. But I really feel like there's someone coming in to visit. You may be waiting for someone to come in or they're waiting for you. But someone is coming in to visit um, to share some information that you really need with you in the month of August. I also feel that um, there's a longing. Like, this is supposed to be somebody you ain't seen in a while. Overall, um, you may be waiting for a package or waiting for some type of information from a fire sign to come in um, to complete something that you've been working on or complete something that you are working towards. But overall, you're looking out. Like, there has to be more to life than this in the month of August. Like, there has to be more. You're thankful for what you've been in, been through, but there has to be more. There has to be more. That's all I keep hearing. I don't know what that means. Whatever. I'm trying not to talk too fast. Just because I'm not coughing don't mean that I can just get out here and just act a fool. Scorpio. Angels, what information do you have, Scorpio? Thank you. There's a decision that needs to be made. You're at a crossroads. I feel like it's going to be a very valuable um, decision because there's some money coming through. You are walking through the door of you. <clears throat> Can't wait for that mixtape to drop. Y'all going to love it. I need to put it on pre-order. It's not dropping until 2025. However, I have to work with the top producers and engineers in my field before dropping that mixtape. <clears throat> Look forward. The coin is falling. Chicken Little. The coin is falling. It's right here. Blossoming abundance is yours. There's an increase in wealth and increase in value, Scorpio. I'm going to be a, a Scorpio at that time. Once you make a decision and you stick to it and, and it, it, shit just going to start unfolding. You're making a head over heart decision. You're coming from a space of compassion. There's someone that you need to forgive in order for you to be able to move forward. There are things that you got to leave back there. 
Leave it back there at the crossroads. Don't turn around and look back. And moving forward, you may want to shift the way that you get away from the crossroads so that that energy won't follow you. Some of you follow me. Moving forward. Now then, I'm seeing here where, you know, whatever it is that you value, whatever your values are changing. You're, you have gone through some deep shit, Scorpio. Okay? I'm proud of you. Um, there is um, emotional, um, an emotional calmness about, like people may even see this glow about you or see that, you know, look like you floating. Scorpio out here floating on water, on earth, on land. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. But you're floating. This is a great time for creative projects. There may be an, um, a decision that needs to be made surrounding uh, two to three things that you are working on or working towards. But they're all going to pay off. You will be walking through the door of happiness and healing. There is a shit storm here, but I don't think it's nothing for you to worry about. It's just going to show you who you need to cut out, who's working with you and who's working against you, who's on your team and who ain't, who can kiss your ass. That's what, that's what he's walking off saying. Now, everybody that's in them cups back there can kiss my black ass, right? Or whatever color your ass is, baby. I don't know your life. Moving forward, you are working diligently at what it is that you have set out to work on. You're releasing yourself. You know, it's time for you to get away from old patterns of behavior, old emotional beliefs. Um, when someone, someone's going to reveal to you who they are. And you, you're like, oh, bitch, now I see you. So you can detach from that person. Because it's going to be a huge argument between, you know, and it may be over money. It may be over money. Because you, somebody probably owed you some money, and they out here instead of buying new shit. Like, hold on. You need to pay me first. And you may confront them at a party or something like that. And they don't know not to fuck with you no more. I told you, look. Well, this is what came in after that, because you're going to move forward on that shit. But overall, that argument came by. You got clarity on the situation. Now you see how this really worked out. Somebody was lying about funding. Somebody was lying about your portion. Someone wasn't paying you what you were worth, doing what it is that needed to be done. You got tired of this shit. You packed your shit up and left. Or you just, you know, you ain't messing with them like that no more. You're going to continue to move forward the way that only you know how, Scorpio, because now the truth is out. Now you can detach from this person. You thought they was all down and everything, but they really were being arrogant and egotistical. It's right there. Company, if you are watching and that ain't you, that's fine. We don't know who all in Scorpio life. I feel as though some of you may be um, doing your research and figuring out some things, finding some text or something like that. Yep. And taking the, taking the time back to really reevaluate your whole life when it comes to you and someone in your life or your approach to people who uh, come up against you, maybe jealous of you. You're taking your time here. And you will begin to move forward with the truth. This is the truth coming in. Someone either coming in to share a truth with you that you may have taken a break from or you sharing the truth with someone that you took a break from. And this is what is the outcome of that. New beginnings and happiness, new emotional experiences, new ways of looking at things, knowing that you deserve respect and love. That type of thing is what I feel is coming up out of her. There's a lot of self-awareness. You will be highly aware. Someone is even coming in that has a, a strong heart they have strong heart energy, and it may be that they are divorced or they are, um, you are divorced, and they are coming in wanting to make something happen with you. It may be someone that you work with or you were introduced to this person, or it could easily be someone who's coming in to apologize because they can't live without you and they want to move forward with you overall. At the end of the day, what I'm seeing here is that, you know, whatever it is that you want to work on in the month of August, you're taking your time in this bitch because you've been through a lot. Coming up out this cellar, Okay, when people, some of y'all ain't familiar with the cellar here at the house for show. In the cellar is where you do your shadow work. Scorpio done came up out the cellar, and they have to get cleansed again. They are renewed, right? In that cellar, it don't smell right in there. Because low energy has a smell, and it don't smell right in there. It don't feel right, but... Scorpio got comfortable in the bullshit that was going on in the cellar, and now four knocks, password, and they came out. We locked some other signs back up in there. Who's in there doing some work? We just let Capricorn out as well. Move forward. So I'm saying that, you know, 
you're working diligently on what it is, how you want to move forward, taking your time with things, really practicing, mastering your craft, really feeling again beautifully about what you are working on. It's like the res it's restored. You may have felt stagnant, complacent. You may have felt the love isn't there for your passion anymore and it comes back. And you're not allowing anyone to get in the way of that. I also feel there may be some air travel or something is coming to a rapid completion. It's fast communication as well. Moving in, and it's just like you're taking your time. Even with that air travel, you're taking your time. Some of you may have um, some business uh, dealings that are going on in a, a separate, um, separate, where you gotta fly. And you are restructuring your plans around it, which is good, because you're doing it ahead of time, which is going to bring you in a cornucopia of blessings. I really feel in the month of August here, Scorpio, you may have some financial constraints. You may come um, across as well as, um, you know, feeling like an outsider as well, I feel. But that's okay because what it is is that you are moving in the direction in which you need to to have your dreams fulfilled in order for you to have this cornucopia of blessings. Again, Aquarius says it's showing up. And a lot of folks reading today. But overall, what I'm getting here is that as long as you continue to be driven and follow your passion, follow the pursuit of the star with your name on it, it is obtainable and you, attainable and you will see this. I see where you will be um, possibly dealing with an earth sign here when it comes to business or what have you, which is going to bring in a blessing. I feel like this person may be introducing you to someone or someone is introducing you to this earth sign. This is someone or this, this may even be someone you already know, but overall, they have a key to what it is that you are working on, whether it's spiritually, mentally, physically, financially. Here, um, the work that you have put in will be rewarded here with this cornucopia of blessings. I also feel like you will have much to celebrate. Look at this shit, this is the end of the month. By the end of the month, you will feel like everything that you put in, it's a success. By the end of the month, you will be feeling like, um, you will be feeling renewed, passion renewed. Um, this will be new insight coming in. Um, this is also that aha moment on how you can continue to grow and move forward in whatever it is that you are working on. This is also someone coming in with some type of communication that you've been waiting to hear from that's making you a solid offer or you are making them a solid offer, Scorpio. But overall, I feel as though any um, feelings of not enough time, attention, or affection will shift by the end of the month. You're taking matters into your own hands. If you've been feeling like you don't have enough for this, if you don't feel like you don't have enough, you'll never have enough, especially money. We got all the time in the world if you ask me. But when it comes to money, sometimes you can get to the point where you feel like you don't have enough and it's always, we will, no. Once you realize, get on that, hop on that money frequency, you'll be fine. But I'm seeing here where there may be um, people, who, someone may um, ask you for some help, financial assistance, and you don't know if you want to by the end of the month. Um, I feel like you'll be looking at them like, no, you have this, you have that, you don't need this. And they're just like, no, it ain't what it look like, period. Um, there's going to be something that you see on social media that gives you the insight to um, your, um, that clarifies or provides, cl <sighs> get your words out, gives you clarity on your life purpose and you will go ahead and make a commitment to whatever it is that you see. You'll plant that seed and begin to move forward and make that commitment. There's a new beginning. There also may be a new commitment or um, someone that's a fire sign giving you clarity and confidence to move forward and whatever it is that you are moving toward, they are really um, watching you grow. They are watching you. I have. I think that some of y'all may have family members as well that are watching you grow and really happy for you, but there will be a decision that needs to be made between possibly a fire sign and an earth sign or whoever. There's a decision that needs to be made when it comes to love, matters of the heart. By the end of the month, could be a decision in um, your heart's true desires. What is it that you want to go after? What is it that you want to continue to go by? This could be a player coming in trying to get you a little player from the Himalaya, big slayer. Stop, I'm being professional. There's a new beginning. It's going to take some time to get where you want to. It's going to take some time for you to um, really learn how this process works. Like you're going through a gathering stage. Um, I also feel that there may be a younger earth sign um, that's about five, seven, five, eight. 
who's finally revealing their sexuality to their parents. And I think it's going to be like in um, a message or like you find that online, but they have to go ahead and reveal it. Why is that coming up? And it feels like there may be some spying. Some of y'all probably found out by spying on the chat. And, and just really running in like, aha, I caught your ass. You know, that's some fucked up shit. Don't do that to nobody. Now then, the other way that I'm seeing this is that um, once you really get this epiphany and, and realize how you want to move forward in your life and what it is that you want to do with certain things in your life, you're going to analyze a plan, create, analyze things for what they are, create a plan, be willing to clear up things. Some of you may even be coming out of depression as well. And once you do, you are on fire. You are moving forward. You are taking matters into your own hands. You ain't taking no for an answer. I don't blame you. Who invented that word? I don't even want to talk about it because I used to be very spoiled. I'm not spoiled like I used to be. I used to be. Tell me no, why that means I need to ask three more times or I need to ask somebody else. Scorpio, that's your read, baby. Okay. Looks good to me. But then you have to ask yourself what looks bad to me. Lulu be doing this and doing that. Lulu be doing Lulu. And I suggest you do the same. Do you, boo-boo. Hmm? What you eat don't make me shit. What I eat doesn't make you shit. That is why it's important to do you. Do you? I suppose they had went and got this makeup out my nails. This is horrendous. Like, really? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck am I doing? 